What's going on everybody, it's your boy Kosaus here coming to you with episode number two of Game Time Podcast. I got my uh, homie with my uh, with me right here, a double two army. Hi guys, how's it going? And we're going to talk about some stuff that happened uh, this week, to, over the last week, you know, in the gaming world. And not only, as uh, as we usually will, well, we, we will do. We, we just had one uh, one episode before. If you haven't checked it out, uh, just go to our Podbean and you will find it there. Um, so what should we start off our podcast here with? How about the new One More for Three patch? Oh my god. Uh, Some you, classic Call of Duty to start off. <laughs> do you really want to do it? All right, I have the list what they f- what they s- what it was supposed to fix uh, on both consoles and PC. Um, let me just find the, the list here. I have. So it's patch 1.1, is it? Yeah, it's one. It's called 1.10. 1.10. So hopefully that means they're going to do more. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a lot a lot to fix still. Yeah, t- definitely. So I heard there is 400 new ranks added. Um, uh, I can't believe that. I mean, it's bad enough if you're 10 prestige already and you've got what? How many ranks are in a prestige? 80, is it? 80 or 70? I can't remember. I don't but even still, that's that's over like three prestiges extra. I think I prestige like twice. And uh, I was actually going for a prestige 9 because I, I don't want to be like one of those prestige 10 noobs, you know. Yeah. Um, that you know, go to Prestige then all the way. But um, I don't actually know when, when, where did that come come from? Like uh, ten Prestigers being noobs, probably from the ten Prestige hack lobbies from Modern Warfare Two and <laughs> all that yeah. bitches. So um, yeah, I got the list here, and the first thing is that they uh, obviously, as you said, they added four hundred new ranks, which is new five new Prestiges. Um, second thing is they added ability to view clan ranks and player card in game when enlisted to Call of Duty Black Ops Elite. Um, three is fix for trophy system glitch weight, which I don't know anything about. I, I think you know something about what, what, what was it? Yeah, so um, if you take out your trophy system and you're trying to get Sitrep Pro, um, basically if you deployed it and you knifed your own trophy system, that counted towards a... Um, Sitrep Pro um, equipment destroy. Oh, right, okay. So people are like boosting their Sitrep Pro by that method. I don't actually look for any glitches uh, when I'm online. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't abuse it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I I didn't think you would because you're you're a, you're a good you're a good fair player. Um, the n- next thing is ability select country flags and uh, and clan. As clan titles, which is it really isn't important. The next one is pretty important: additional network op- optimization, which they didn't really said what they did, but hopefully it's something to do with uh, lag compensation and um, host disadvantage, if you know what I mean. Um, the next one, which I have, no, I think we we both have no idea about, is additional elite push to game CAC validation. Um, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> And let me skip to skip to the next page. I think there are only like two or three more. <coughs> two or three more. <coughs> Excuse me about that. You're dying, yeah. I know, I am. Come on. So I heard that um, they could, people could edit their stats uh, on the leaderboards, but now that's been taken down apparently. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was me, one of the patches. Let me just get through the list here. Uh, support. F- for Aline clan operations and future features. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Fixed PM issue where failed invites were preventing large parties from congre- congre- congregating. Uh, no comment about that. And um, repairs of writing of the gameplay uh, fields of the player stats so the the team behind Modern Warfare 3 can sweep uh, LBS and correct averages on the back end. This process will commence shortly. Yeah, it's basically I heard that you could there's a glitch uh, that you could actually like on Codely that you can um, edit your stats. It's quite funny. Uh, you know, people on leaderboards with like KD of 25 with like t- uh, 25,000 kills and like 22,000 deaths. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty ironic because they spent all that time and effort um, 
getting rid of hackers uh, and tent receive lobbies, and then they've got this glitch that they've just went past the system, and yeah. you've got all these people like tent prestige and like 50 KD and all that. It's yeah. complete nonsense. Yeah. Oh my God! Somebody messages me on Facebook again. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's why I don't have Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, you don't actually have Facebook. Um, anyway, anywho, uh, so that's for the patch. I mean, it's good that they're doing something, but it's not a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like it's not any major patch. Even though it's called 1.1, it's supposed to be a major patch. But anyway, it's just Infinity Ward. Like, what what do we what do we expect from Call of Duty, right? <laughs> Um, I actually wanted to talk about Assassin's Creed 3, uh, as is one of my favorite uh, series. Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite series ever in uh, history of gaming. So, it, it is rumored that, uh, well, it's not rumored, but um, on Facebook from the French, uh, uh, you know, publisher, there have been a like a quick update saying the uh, saying that they will. Uh, they will release like a lot of information about Assassin's Creed 3 in the next two days, and more information will be available on Assassin's Creed.com. Uh, which, and they also left us that picture which I have in front of me here, um, which looks like a, um, looks like a sand desert. No, well, not sand desert. It looks like a snow desert. Uh, it's definitely not sand because there. Are, like there's basically snow falling, uh, snow falling down, and that's I basically think it's called, it. uh, tundra, snow desert. Yeah, basically. I think, yeah. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. It's, I don't think it is tundra. You know, I don't think it's that big. You know, the that pic, the picture isn't isn't actually you know isn't actually showing tundra, but okay. yeah, it's showing like a big field of just nothing but a snow. Mm. Which is, which is good because we we have never seen a snow in Assassin's Creed game, which which gives us something new. Uh, well, at least I haven't seen any uh, any snow. Um, and if if I actually have, then it might have been like for a little, for like a quick uh, quick uh, quick like flashbacks that there were in the uh, in the story uh, main story mode. Um, there are actually actually some rumors here that it, it might be a desert, uh, uh, an ocean. Or or a tundra, as you saw, as you said. Um, but I know, I know it's it's something that similar to tundra because uh, you know there's snow falling down. So we should expect something good in like two two uh, between two to three days. Um, I'm really I'm really hyped about this this game. I didn't really enjoy Revelations for uh, it just didn't seem as a as a sixty dollar release. I don't know. It's just. It's good to have something new. Um, so, what's your what's your next topic that you found? So, um, let's talk about the PS Vita. Oh yeah, PS Vita, yeah. Yeah. So, it sold 1.2 million consoles so far. Yeah. And um, it's also uh, rumored that well, it's not rumored actually. It's been confirmed that Call of Duty: One Warfare Three. Is coming to the PS Vita in autumn, um, so so you're going to be able to pawn some noobs on the go uh, on the tube. What a fucking <laughs> surprise! Yeah, exactly. Um, but it was quite interesting because I saw like a not a teaser trailer, but some footage of it from some sort of convention, and uh, in the kill cams, like you actually saw the other person's face on the kill cam. Like a, almost like a revenge sort of kill cam, if you know what I mean. Oh, so, so it doesn't actually show guy killing you. It shows like th- it shows them. Well, it does show them like killing you in the regular game, but it also shows like the person's face because you know there's a camera on the the front of the. Oh, pizza. that's pretty so, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool when uh, you get totally outplayed and then he just like sticks his middle finger up to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be that's a good idea actually. Yeah. Uh, Sony knows how to use its uh, its equipment very well. Um, as as you know, PS Vita has two, two cameras. It has back facing camera and front facing camera. Both of them are 0.3 megapixels, which is VGA quality. And um, I think that's what they're gonna use. Uh, it, it also have has a really good idea, which is a re- rear touchpad. And 
uh, front. Uh, it ha they have a full uh, multi-touch screen, which which I think supports up to three touching, three or four touching points. So you can touch like four points on the on the screen itself, and you will be and the co console will be able to uh, recognize all four points. Um, uh, How big is the screen? Oh, I, th I think it. I I know it's too, I I know it's really big. I played on uh, on my friend's uh, Vita. Uh, I mm. think it's about five inches. Five inches. But don't quote me. Don't quote me on that. You, you can actually check and I'm, I'm I'm gonna check it right here. Yeah, it's um, just because I find that especially phones these days. I mean, I've got pretty manly fingers. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> um, so it's hard for me to like. When I use the touch screen, it's I'm always touching like three or four different letters on the keyboard at once, and uh -huh. it's so frustrating. So um, as long as the screen's pretty big, then yeah, that four multi-touch pads um, touch screens can come in pretty handy for games. Yeah, uh, I'm just checking the text text specs here. It is, let me see, five inches, sixteen to nine aspect ratio. Six, that white screen, wow, nice. Yeah, 1600, 16 million colors, sorry. Uh, OLED, OLED multi touch screen. So, um, awesome. And the bad thing is, uh, uh, the only bad thing I know, uh, about the hardware in itself, it's, uh, it has no memory in it. Like, and it has no uh, hard drive, so you have to, you have to buy the console. And you have to buy uh, a memory card straight away if you want to download and play some games. Wow, that's yeah. inconvenient. Yeah. Um, well, I guess uh, somebody wants to get their money. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, the good thing is that they have a, four, a quad core processor and a, uh, and a, qu a quad core pro uh, graphics processing unit. Which, uh, which I, you know, I saw. I played them. I played them my own myself. Uh, it has a really dope ass graphics. So, uh, you know, for a handheld, of course, it's almost on. It's it's it gets close to like PS3 graphics sometimes. Yeah, of course, you you can actually play some PS3 games. I think we mentioned in the last podcast, you can actually play PS3 games on the Vita as well. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, so as you said, it was 1.2 million um, sold copy, uh, sold, sold consoles, and 2 million uh, downloaded games, and 40% of those ga of those games were, uh, was Uncharted: uh, The Golden Abyss, which is a good score. I mean, it's a it's a it's supposed to be a console selling title for you know uh, on a release date, and I think it did well. Like 40% of 2 million, it's pretty good. Um, so on the subject of handhelds, um, there's actually news coming in from Japan from the 3DS, uh -huh. and you know how everybody thought it was a, a big, well, let's be honest, it was a big flop to start with, um, <laughs> <laughs> and the launch, I mean, um, but it's actually making a really good comeback, and there's some quite interesting information actually. Um, it's breaking records in Japan right now. Wow. Um, it's been in the first year of of um, sales and 5 million units have been sold in Japan in the first year and that actually makes it the fastest selling console ever in Japanese history which is quite something actually considering it was doing so badly at the start I don't know, I, ha I haven't owned a Nintendo console since Nintendo 64 so I, you know, I played like uh, Nintendo Wii and and stuff like that, but I never uh, actually. I had Game Boy Color and Nintendo 64. That's basically it. I never actually got to no got around to buying any of those uh, of the consoles they released. I just wasn't really attracted to them. All you know, all those gimmicks like motion controls. It wasn't really my thing. You know, I was back then. I was more more into um, competitive gaming and stuff like that. So. That's yeah, the, it's, that's a topic. It's it's um it's good fun, like the motion controls. I'm sure you will agree it's good fun, but you know, um, we're both. I'd say we're both hardcore gamers, yeah. So yeah, we we prefer like A and B buttons, ma button mashing controllers, um, compared to swinging some fairy wands around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so that, I think that's that's it about the Vita. Uh, I mean, I want to get it. It's it's a pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good. What you what you call it? Uh, gadget that you, that you can own. Uh, I mean, it, 
the, the, bad, the bad thing about the software, I think, is that you uh, it has the old Adobe Flash. Well, I, I don't think it even has Adobe Flash. That's uh, that's why it can't um, get the videos on from YouTube. Like if you go to you know your uh, web browser and you go onto YouTube, you, you try to play any videos. It says that you you don't have you know the latest Adobe Flash or whatever. You don't have any Flash at all. <sighs> yeah, I think it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. That's that's, that's the thing. Uh, but they have they have something which only only actually few sites uh, support. They have that kind of driver, which is which sucks. You know, I I would I would want to see like some uh, badass like uh, I don't know like YouTube uh, YouTube videos on that on the on the big five inch you know OLED screen. Uh, I hope they make like app you know like application like on. Um, on, on, on my iPod here, which I have in my hand, you have an application which is YouTube, and you can basically watch stuff and you know uh, stuff like that. Um, so let me see. Um, let's finish up with Vita. Uh, you know, I mean, it's the console, whatever. Uh, let's talk about some fun stuff. <laughs> we have a new Xbox uh, luncheon, and no, it's not the Xbox 720 or or any of those. Stupid shit that people make up. Um, it's actually the white Xbox 360 with white Connect and white uh, joypad. Yeah, that's right. We're getting some some new, some new stuff from. We're getting some new colors from Microsoft. <laughs> I uh, mean, how many consoles have they brought out since the original? How many oh, different ones? Oh my I mean, God. there's three different memory types for the original one. I think there's like the shitty 20 gig and then there's the 120 but then then we've got the slim one the slim version i can't remember what the full name of that's called um and now we've got this you know they're really milking it i mean just bring on the 720 already well yeah um i think it's it's all gonna cost 300 dollars, which is about 250 pounds for you uk guys where, where we actually live uh and this and the con you, you, you will be able to acquire a, a joystick by for fifty dollars, so by f about forty quid. Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and the whole thing is gonna be called wait, it's, it's a really long name, it's gonna be called uh, Xbox 364 Gigabyte Special Family Bundle. That, yeah, that's what it's gonna be called. <laughs> I mean, they could see them fit in the package. <laughs> Yeah, they couldn't fit. Uh, they couldn't think of anything, you know, more, anything longer than that. Um, um, so yeah, they're definitely milking it. But I mean, the white Xbox looks dope. First, like don't, don't get me wrong. I I have the picture in front of me right here, and it looks dope. Like the it's it's actually pure white, which is kind of racist, but um, <laughs> but uh, but still, it's um, it, it's 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 good. It's a good looking device. Um, so let's let's move on here. What do you have there for us? So um, on the subject of funny stuff, we've got um, a Minecraft competition you were talking about, or a competitive Minecraft, yeah, yeah. Um, which is completely ridiculous. So, well, we have our comp normal sort of mainstream competitive games like Call of Duty, StarCraft, um, Battlefield, whatever. But now, apparently, Minecraft's going to be put into the equation. Because yeah. um, obviously we have all this creative stuff you can do, like um, the star, the like Star Trek stuff, and you know, like real life replicas and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, so apparently we're going to have um, massive competitions, competitive Minecraft, like MLG style. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what's that all about? Um, I I I don't know. We were talking about that before before the show, and um, I kind of read that, and I burst out laughing. Um, you know, I can't really imagine some like watching somebody build for like two straight hours or or even more, because you know, m more uh, most of those you know um, Minecraft uh, Minecraft projects and my Minecraft um, creations they take about I don't know four to seven hours. You know, of a of, lot of time. Uh, yeah, they take a lot of time, so it will be good to do like a speed art of this, you know, like speed it up, I don't know, 40 times or something like that. But no, no, do not make like an MLG. It's gonna take forever, and or you know, they they might do it, you know, with the 
that might be a good competition to m make like the best creation within like you know 30 minutes or an hour that That's might be good, yeah. Yeah, that might be good, but uh, no, do not let them, you know, go for like seven hours or, or something like that. Um, yeah, but that's basically Minecraft, uh, um, a competitive Minecraft for you right there. I don't, I don't know why they made it that way. I mean, Minecraft was made to to be fun, not to be pl not to be taken seriously. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically the, the topic. I have the topic here of Modern Warfare 3 DLC uh, for Xbox uh, non-elite non -elite users. Uh, coming out on March 20th, it's going to be a pack of, uh, let me see, of 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 maps and 2 uh, special ops maps. It's going to include Liberation, Piazza, Overwatch, which, which we already knew uh, and saw you know, from the Code Elite users. And we're gonna also have a black box, which black box uh, is has a, has players battling next to the crashed Air Force One in a Southern California neighborhood. Um, so that should be cool. I, I have a picture here, but it's too small, I, and I cannot uh, zoom zoom it in. Um, as for the as for the special ops missions, uh, there's one which will which you will be able to. Uh, take uh, control over the snowmobile, which you know, which is known from uh, Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops, and uh, s and s single player. And the second special ops mission will be hostage ex extraction situation. So you know, it's all the shit that we uh, we already know and we already played. So and I don't know how many times I hit the trees in that um, snowmobile mission <laughs> in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> yeah, so annoying. It's pretty funny when when you actually fill up on the, on those things. Yeah. Um, the only concern I have, you know, Activision and uh, Infinity Ward being fucking greedy as, as fuck. Um, actually, there are comments saying that would be like $35 or something like that. <laughs> um, that I, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they would charge $20 for that. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that would be like six, 1,600 microsoft points. I think something like that. No, it would be more. It would, it would be 1800. That's it. That would be 1800. Yeah, I don't you think the map have just gone to shit now since Modern Warfare 3? Like the map design yeah. for multiplayer. I mean, in World at War and uh, COD 4, the maps were the maps were pretty, pretty good. I mean, you actually had map control. You know, you had power points and you had um, counters to that power positions. And, you know, it was more. It was fast-paced and like uh, on rail shooter, but mm -hmm. you know there's a tactical aspect to it as well. Yeah, definitely. But now it's just there's no cover in Modern Warfare 3. You're just put into the battlefields and you basically just have to go around the corner and spray and hope for the best. It's like there's no the tactics have all gone. Yeah, um, I mean they 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 try to put some stuff into the game, you know, like uh, different cover and stuff like that, but it's not enough. Uh, there's not. I mean, if you look at Liber Liberation, for example, it's a pure like sniper fest. It, nobody really wants to play this map because it's so so wide open, and you can get you know with, uh, of course, with the uh, famous Modern Warfare 3's fucking quickscope and motherfuckers, you can get quickscope from like I don't know, 300 meters away. Um, I don't really, yeah. I don't really know. Like so many times, I, I got like one or two out of Moab, and then, of course, I have to get quick scoped, uh, you know, around the corner. Even though I have, I have like a shotgun or a SMG in my hand. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, the twentieth of March, if you like Call of Duty, that will be your day for uh, for the new DLC. For the premium members of Call of Duty Elite, uh, you will be able to get the new map and this and this and the. Special Ops maps on March 13th, and on PlayStation and, and PS and PC, um, you they actually haven't released any release date, so uh, you have to wait for those. As we Xbox users actually get a uh, a good deal. Our, our, yeah, they've our, still our got the um, contract with Activision, Microsoft. Yeah. So what else do you have there? Do you, uh, you have any anything new and anything else to to, uh, to cover? I don't think so. I think we pretty much covered everything uh, that we want to talk about. Oh, uh, 
Well, there is actually for you, Nintendo guys. Uh, that's including me. Um, there's a press conference tomorrow. Um, uh, it's going to be aired um, on. I don't know which website it's going to be aired on. Uh, probably the official website. Tomorrow, but, uh, which is what? And when they when they'll be listening to the podcast, it will be it might be you know, like later. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. We might have some Wii U details there and. Um, Maybe future releases. Um, yeah, yeah, just put that out there. So we the first of March. Yeah, because it's um, it's a leap year today, isn't it? Yes, yeah, twenty ninth. Yeah. Yeah. So first of March. <laughs> um. So anyway, have you been gaming this this week? This past week. Um. Not much. I've had schoolwork to be catching up with, and yeah. to be honest, I've pretty much got fed up with. Modern Warfare 3 right now, and I told just, you I told you to get this Gotham City Imposters game. I know, I know, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, it is pretty fun, I have to say, when I had it, and there's a new patch, of course, for that as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what was in that patch. Was it um, some more maps and it's some a DLC slash map? And of uh, this is what am I talking about? DLC slash uh, slash patch, and it's it of course it's free because you know they want to uh, really make good a, a good impression on their on their you know on the first players there. They don't want to you know like charge you for everything straight away. Um, and basically, adds, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, it's basically adds a new map, two new weapons, which uh, well the new maps uh, the new map is called Twenty Fifth Floor. Um, the new new two new weapons are is a handgun which basically gives you advantage because you can pull it out faster. That's what she said. Um, and the second second new weapon is uh, a katana, which oh that's awesome. Which I prob which I didn't still I still didn't have a chance to to try out or anything. Uh, so I'll be yeah I, I I wasn't actually playing this this week at all. Uh, as we're recording this, it is Wednesday. It is a big day for me tomorrow because we have a game for a, a quarterfinal of Scottish Cup in basketball. So we had a pre pre a pre game training tonight, and we're gonna hopefully destroy them tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have much time. I I think I just I the last time I played was on Sunday. Yeah, I think on Sunday I played some imposters and then. I played one game of Modern Warfare 3, and I said, and I said, I said to myself, "Fuck this game." <laughs> um, yeah, but the main thing I, I play now is uh, Gotham City Imposters and Skyrim, um, and some NBA 2K12. You know, we, I can't really go wrong with that because I'm a NBA fan. Yeah, I'm still strong with Skyrim uh, when I'm not playing any first-person shooters. Although I did, by mistake, delete my uh, previous account. <laughs> um, because I tried to transfer some hard drive memory to a USB stick, but it went wrong. So um, I'm back to level one now. So, <laughs> but it's all good because uh, I do enjoy leveling up from the start. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, I would not. <laughs> if I think if that would happen to me, I would just rage and break my controller straight away. Um, because I have so much, so much stuff, and uh, which I think I wouldn't be able to find again. Like some of the stuff I just like found randomly and stuff. Um, is there is there any like real life stuff that we want to uh, discuss or anything like that? Um, in terms of just what's happening or yeah, what's happening? Oh yeah, uh, how about to we, we talk about the new ruler of uh, Korea? Oh uh, yeah, so it's the <laughs> new dictator. Yeah, uh, uh, let me actually, let me actually find out find out his like re, uh, his full name because. It's actually quite embarrassing that I don't know his name, but um, I was watching that um, uh, this program, you know, when he was actually uh, when they actually admitted that you know him as his as their um, new new ruler or you know their new uh, dictator or president or whatever you want to call it, um, um, and. <laughs> As I as I talked to you, I talked to you today in school, I, I was like, "Damn, we're about to have a nuclear war down here." This guy looks even worse uh, than his 
than his predecessor, which, which was his his father, and his his name is Kim Kim Jong Il. Yeah, I think it's the no, same. No, uh, no, 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 no. That's, that's his, his father. father. That's his father. Yeah, yeah that's his father. Uh, fuck. Proce I think it's Kim Jong. Kim. Oh, it's Kim. Sung? Kim Second Sung. Yeah. Oh, nice fucking name, bro. Oh my god, look yeah. at his face. <laughs> Yeah, so but, um, where was it it's born? all good because we've all got our nuclear weapons ready so if anything goes down then we can just fire back so you know it's sort of a it's just a basically a cold war because nothing's you know as long as we've got nuclear weapons and um, Korea does then you know it's sort of mutual and nothing's really going to happen this guy um, di this guy died in 94 that I was talking about wait um no, it's Kim Jong Un. That's that's it. That's his son, I think. Yeah, assumed office 29th December 2010. It was 2011. Uh, that, that's him. And he was born in 1983 or 1984. They, they didn't know. <laughs> uh, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, that, that it shows you how locked out uh, Korea is. Well, not ho whole Korea, but North Korea. Um, because you know the South Korea, Korea is dip diplomatic, so yeah. Even on this Wikipedia page, he's got a whole section dedicated to his um, personality, <laughs> and you can guess about all this bad, like crazy, um, like emotions and stuff like that. It's, yeah, to be so, honest, uh, to be honest, I think that um, Americans, well, we all we all fail to to keep the uh, to keep the guy alive, you know, Kim Jong Il. <laughs> because yeah, as I said, his his son looks, uh, he really really looks like a guy that could bring bring something new to the world table, and and, mm. and not not in, not in a good way, of course. Yeah. Uh. Um. So that's basically it. Um. I don't think we have any more th stuff to talk about. I mean, there's gonna be um election for a new president in Amer in America. But I'm not really into this stuff, so I don't know the you know the contenders and stuff. And yeah, I, to be I, honest, I'm not into politics at all. <laughs> I, yeah, I I've been into politics like a few few months ago, but uh, not anymore. Um, yeah, I don't even I don't even know the date of election. Yeah, the American like election <laughs> process is so dragged out compared to the British one. I mean, the British one is just like a couple of weeks and then it's over. But America, like the Everyone tours around the place and like does campaigns and stuff like that, so it's a lot um, longer than yeah. UK. Will be held in November six, two thousand twelve, on Tuesday, uh, two thousand six, two thousand two thousand twelve. Yeah. So that's pretty far away. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, president Barack Obama, like, of course we know who the president is. Um, let me see. Can I see the contenders, candidates, please? There's Warren Mosler, Darcy Richardson, Jim Rogers, Vermin Supreme, Randall what Terry. What sort of name is that? What? What sort of name is that? I know, Vermin Supreme. <laughs> and Randall Terry. Hmm. Um, I, I like Barack Obama. Or are those? I don't even know. Oh, th those are not candidates. What? It says other candidates. What the f hell? Um, right. It says active candidates are uh, Newt Ginry, Ron Paul, Mitt Romney, and Rick Santorum. Um, yes, I know all of them. Why isn't Oba is, is Obama a candidate again? I don't know. He might be. I expect so. I expect yeah, so. yeah, I was expect so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's basically we. If you're from USA and we just butchered your your country, then we were sorry about that. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm uh, I'm planning to move to America, so I should probably start to start learning. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. So is that it for the podcast tonight? We wrap it up here. <sighs> I think so. Um, so 
yeah. Anyway, that have been num- number two of Game Time Podcast. Uh, thank you for listening. And um, we will see you in the next episode, which will be next week. Um, see you guys.